Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, May 27th to uh, June 2nd, 2019. <clears throat> and bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can go straight away uh, to the spread. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, the first card, which represents Virgo's topic of the week, that will be uh, the Tree of Wands. Followed by the second card, which uh, stands for the challenges that Virgo needs to overcome here, that will be uh, the Hangman. After that, we do have the positive aspect for Virgo's week, that will be the Four of Swords. And the last one uh, for you, Virgo, which is the Guidance here. <clears throat> This will be uh, the Magician card. So once again, uh, the topic itself, that will be the Tree of Wands, followed by the uh, Hangman, which is the Challenges. After that, we do have the Four of Swords, which represents the positive aspect. And the last one, uh, we do have the Magician, that is about the Guidance. All right, so Virgo, in regards to just an overview here, this week is going to be rather mixed uh, in a sense of that um, there will be, I don't know how to display it really in English, but um, impatience or you're going to lack patience to jump into action for what it seems, which uh, at that point is going to be rather a bit crucial uh, at, your, um, at, your, at your behalf, as I was about to say, uh, because... There are going to be some plights or rather predicaments that need some time in order to resolve themselves before your path is clear, you know, for you to uh, move on forward with your, uh, with your undertakings. So uh, that is well described uh, here with uh, the first couple of cards, but let's go with the first card that will be the Tree of Wands. So Tree of Wands points that this week you are to find yourself in a very well-established position, right? Well-established proven concepts of yours, which speaks a, um, a solid position in regards to career or a uh, very good uh, position and prospects <clears throat> in regards to uh, your uh, social and private life. And at that point, you will feel the necessity here to push on forward, you know, to challenge yourself so you can go for greater heights, so you can grow even further, which is an awesome thing, all right? But just because the follow-up here, uh, I would advise you throughout the week, you just to find out what your continuation of the goal is going to be. All right, or the continuation of your undertakings is going to be rather than to just straight uh, straight into actions. The accompanied card with the tree of uh, wands that will be the page of swords, and uh, I would have told you that in the third card, but it kind of comes up here as well. The um, the formation that we do have it is a uh, active. Friends, and it seems that you are going to uh, start receiving a, a very valuable advices and consultation throughout the week from a, a person. 
that very well sees the things a little bit differently, all right? So a, a little bit differently in the sense of that they see what is in stake, they see how beneficial you can be with your, um, with the challenges that you have uh, placed in front of yourself. But in the same time, you know, they see another way through, okay? And that week, I think, is going to be a week where you're going to contemplate on this other way through because for what it seems here, an unexpected source of help through uh, analysis, you know, and through guidance is coming around for you. And that leads us to the second card, which describes the challenges you will have to face. And that will be the hangman, the very reason why you should not push it. Because the hangman tests you. That is simultaneously a test and a breakthrough. Because <clears throat> the hangman at that point, it does, it does says that there are some problems. There are some plights with either your idea, your plan, you know, or the situation itself that you are finding, uh, that you're finding yourself at. Uh, and as you are well established, you know, and you are feeling that big energy of, of action, this active energy, you may start thinking, well, I can basically have to resolve those problems, all right? I can resolve those problems. And that will be the grave mistake. You cannot resolve those problems. The hangman here points that those problems can be resolved by someone else or they will be resolved on their own accord. Everything that you need to do throughout this week is just observe. That's all, all right? Just observe. So the uh, the challenge here for you to be uh, to accomplish is to just hold your horses, all right? So just to give you an example, you are um, finding yourself in a very good position in regards to your marriage, all right? You love your wife or a husband. Your wife or a husband loves you as well, and yet you feel that something is missing in that marriage. You know, it's kind of like it's not as exciting as you want it to be. But you cannot figure out what, right? What is missing exactly? So you frantically try to put some sort of an addition to the marriage, you know, a new, a new enterprise or a new activity there, which could, it doesn't lead you anywhere because the hangman points the, mo the majority of your actions throughout the week are going to be rather futile, right? But if you're willing to uh, wait a little bit, you know, and to see those trifling predicaments into your marriage <clears throat> getting resolved one by another for example the bad moods of your wife or a husband you know or uh, the lack of uh, finance uh, temporary lack of finances and so on and so forth then you will start having the means in order to stir the uh this is the situation of excitement and such kind of uh, example could be applied in any kind of a field of your life the accompanied card here, that will be the Three of Cups. And the formation, it is a, a passive uh, supporters. So as I said, that you are going to have someone that is going to guide you as a person throughout uh, this time of uh, contemplation, if I may express it that way. Here we see that you will have a difficult time to align your vision with this person. You will have a difficult time to believe to that person that they feel you, that they feel the same thing that you feel and they do have the most pure intentions, which they do, okay? So yeah, that will as well come as a challenge and that's why, um, and another thing that comes to my mind right now is that maybe you will see reason behind their words, but uh, you will, you will kind of like, um, indulge with your stubbornness trying to prove that you can do it without their help that could also be a, a challenge which you should not do all right you uh, you will have to if not entirely you know at least tr take under consideration what those uh, faithful people were telling you as a guidance as and as a uh, advice and uh, the next card that we go to, uh, that will be the positive aspect of the week. And we do have the Four of Swords. So a couple of things. First, this is a confirmation that this uh, guidance is going to come from a, a very, very faithful companion. Your very best friend, you know, your brother or sister, your parents or your uncle or, or just someone who you take as a, a family and someone who you deeply trust, which... It's not a prerequisite that you cannot be stubborn, all right? <clears throat> and second, this card points that you can postpone the initiation of uh, 
of that challenge of yourself or this new heights of yourself that are coming here at the start of the reading and uh, beforehand you know you can really take a break catch up your breath recuperate if you need to you know gather up as many means as possible uh, energetically wise and as well materially wise and only then guys um jump into action I have to touch another subject here, a little bit sensitive, so if you do have any other issues, physical issues, that is, for example, um, you suffer some sort of an illness, or you do have um, <clears throat> any kind of uh, law, um, law bonding uh, issues, like going through a divorce, these kind of stuff, any kind of issue that you do have, which there is a, a professionalist into that field, then you should go and seek that professional is because it does look like that they will give you a an accurate diagnosis and as well and an accurate treatment to your uh, to your problem for example uh, you're wondering where to invest your money well then go to business advisor you know so seek on to professional help which now that i think of uh, the hangman reversed uh, it kind of regards to that and as in a negative position it could be taken as a reverse card you know the hangman reversed it it kind of points to stress tension and that this stress and tension can only be resolved by a, a professional help right so uh yeah it's it kind of looks like that there is an answer to your to your troubles there is an answer to your plights but this answer resides outside of your understanding and it this new vision new perception you know new um perspective is going to come around it, it will be given to you on a platter but it comes to you to believe it and to take a note of it the accompanied card here, that will be the Ace of Swords. It's just a confirmation that you are to uh, basically receive a, a new truth, new ways. And uh, how can I place it? Um, encouragement to do what is needed, in this case, to wait a little bit. So you can put a thorough analysis upon your things, you know, and uh, as you do have a pretty good idea, what the the real the, the the entirety of the situation is the real entirety of the situation is then take the appropriate actions toward it toward your marriage toward your career toward your suitor and so on and so forth and uh, finally uh, we go to the guidance card that will be the magician so this is um, a guidance you know that's um, you can listen or you may not want to listen so first of all you need to put or to place your communicational skills into the matter. Now, communicational skills doesn't mean only to talk, but also means to listen, right? So you have to listen to those which are more experienced than you are. Or if you don't have anybody who is more experienced than you are, then you obviously have to find such person. Additionally to that, the magician urges you whenever you plan to do, right? If test your determination behind it. If you feel hesitance, then probably this isn't the thing that, the, the thing that you want to do, right? If you are feeling pretty determined about it, then that is definitely something that you should explore. The accompanied card here, that will be the Five of Cups. And uh, this formation here, Active Neutrals, pretty much deprive you from regret. So whatever you come up with this week, either following the... Um, the advices of those people, which is advisable for you to do, or just going on your own accord, you know, with whatever you figured out for yourself, you will have no regret whatsoever for doing what you think is best. And that kind of classifies you as a bit of reckless if you don't listen to uh, other points of view. It, this is all that is asked here, you know, to listen to other points of view because your um, perspective upon the matters in front of yourself, which are a... Um, upgrade to your current achievement is going to expand is going to sprawl and you may find yourself uh, rather capable you know to go even beyond your original expectations that that is the whole reason because at the start of the uh, at the start of the week you know as you sit in a in a good position either regarding your marriage career or maybe in both oh you, know, you will feel quite capable you know to go even for more and while that is true how much more? Well, this is the question that it will be answered for you throughout this week. Only if you have the, the, the readiness, the determination and the ears 
to listen. So that being said, Virgos, this was your weekly tarot reading for um, May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.